I have an experiment I want to do. I've always, you know, been told that wool is so much better for um, keeping things warm, better at wicking water, um, the whole bit. And then acrylic, of course, is the worst because it's a plastic, um, that it, it doesn't wick water as well. It makes things kind of just damp and dank. And that cotton, while it does wick water, also absorbs more water, but doesn't let it go as much. So uh, cotton socks, when they're wet, just feel sort of clammy and, and wet, where wool will actually still feel dry and warm when they're wet. So I'm going to do an experiment here. I have three bottles of water that, well, frozen water, ice, um, that I'm going to put in each sock. And then I'm going to set them here in the sun for a few hours. And then I'm going to test them when I get back. So let me get them set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so these have been sitting out here for about two and a half hours, and the sun did come out for a while, so these have had the sun heat beating down on them. So I wanted to see how they felt, how well did they insulate what was inside, obviously the, uh, the ice that was in the bottles and everything, and see how they actually feel. So let's look at the uh, wool one first. Now the wool one, it does feel damp, but it's not like it's soaking wet. I mean... I'm touching it, and I'm getting a little moisture on my hands, but mm, not as much as you thought. Let's see how much ice is in it. Well, you can see that there's ice in it, so it has melted. So it's been warm enough out here for it to melt. But the wool sock itself, I mean, yes, it feels, oops, feels a little damp but not like wet. I'm impressed. It's exactly what I expected out of wool. So let's go ahead and put this back down in here and set this aside. All right, let's look at the, the cotton. Now the cotton I expect to be clammy and really, really wet. No oh boy, it is. It is really wet. I see how much of the ice has melted on this one. Now I think, now I think there's more of an ice chunk in this one. Um, I don't know, maybe not. This one here's got actually floating pretty good. Maybe this has melted more. So, but the sock itself is wet. I mean, not enough to be able to wring it out or anything, but it is definitely wet feeling. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't, let's put it this way, I wouldn't want to wear this, whereas the wool one over here, I definitely wouldn't mind wearing it, I mean, I think it would be still okay. This, this would be cold, it's funny, it feels cold here, where they're even in the ice, your hand warms up almost immediately, even though there's ice on the other side of that, so, yeah, that's, that's what you should get with wool. But this, no, I wouldn't want to wear that. That's just, that's just nasty. <laughs> okay, so let's look at the acrylic. Now, I honestly don't know what to think about the acrylic. I've not, it's not something I've done a lot of reading about or a lot of experience with. I mean, I haven't wore acrylic socks in, I don't know, a decade or more. Um, so let's see how this feels. Now, it's funny. It's really wet at the bottom. I mean, really wet. Like, wet like the cotton sock is. On the sides, I don't think it's as bad as the cotton, but it's definitely not as nice as the wool. And it's cold. It's absolutely cold to touch. So that tells me that this is letting the cold come through, which means if you were wearing this in the wintertime, it would let the cold go through to your foot. So let's see how much ice melted in this one. Wow. Um, there is a small chunk left in there, but I don't know. It's, it's small, so it really has not been a good insulator. Um, I want to compare the three real quick.
Okay, so there's the three. There's a chunk of ice in there, but it's not real big. There's a chunk of ice in that one. I think the chunk of ice is slightly bigger than this one. And I think the chunk of ice... Hmm. The chunk of ice is definitely smallest in the acrylic, second the cotton, largest in the wool. So that also tells you something, too, uh, for insulation factor. Worst middle best insulation this is what i was wanting to experiment with i wanted to really see how these worked and they worked pretty much the way i had read and been told um the acrylic sock the acrylic sock is wet and cold i mean not not as wet as the cotton but the acrylic sock is wet and cold The wool sock is damp, but it's not, I mean, when you put your hands on it and hold it there, it warms up relatively quick. That does not, <laughs> that's just cold. Okay, and then the sock, cotton sock. That's just wet. I mean, I almost could wring that out it's so wet okay it's like a, a wet washcloth that you've just wrung out it's that wet and it's cold um let's see how these feel on my feet i wore sandals out here so let's check okay foot let me try on the cotton sock and i'll tell you what i think ah i'm sorry that is awful feeling that's like putting on a bathing suit that's still wet i mean it's just it's wet, it's cold. I would not want to put that on in a shoe. That's horrible. And sorry about the stain on these. These used to be mowing shoes, so that's probably a little bit of oil or something like that from mowing. But this is, uh, I, I just want to get them off. The acrylic. They also feel cold and wet. Um, they don't feel as wet as the cotton, but they do feel cold. Would I want to put this on inside of a shoe? No, I really wouldn't. Um, I think I would get blisters with this here and the cotton sock. They're that wet. Um, yeah, I, this is not comfortable. It's not as clammy and cold as the cotton sock. I will give it that. Uh, for like winter socks, I definitely would not go with cotton. But the acrylic, mm, not really either. Okay, the wool sock. Now, it's a little cold right now, and I could tell that it's damp, but you know, it's warming up. That's funny. It feels, it's like it's drawing in the heat from the outside. Um, it's a little cold, it's a little damp, but it's not, I mean, right now, my foot does not feel cold. It feels comfortable. Which, that explains a lot, because in the winter time, um, I wear tennis shoes, unless it's really, really bad that I do wear uh, snow boots. But, um, when I've gotten to work, or something and my feet have been wet, my feet still feel comfortable. Um, I don't feel like I need to change socks. When I used to wear cotton socks, I, I felt like I had, I took, well, I took a, a change of socks to wear at work once I got there. Right now, my foot feels nice and warm and comfortable. There is no cold, no clammy to this, to this all. I mean, even moving it, I could feel a little bit of damp, but it's comfortable. So that proves this to me. I tell you something. I am a huge proponent of wool socks. I have been for a while, but when you go to the wool versus the acrylic, versus the cotton give me the wool every time right now my foot is warm it's comfortable and I think it feels drier now than it was when I took it off the bottle there is a gentle breeze out here and I think that gentle breeze is drying the sock that's amazing remember wool is the original self wicking fabric and I believe it I honestly believe it this is just really comfortable 
So that is the experiment for today. Um, I'm a little surprised. I really thought the acrylic would be worse than the cotton. Um, the fact that the acrylic, the acrylic feels like it's drying a little faster. The cotton just doesn't. That just feels just as wet as it was when I took it off the bottle. That does feel a little drier. That, that's dried off quite a bit already just sitting here. So, let me tell you. When it comes to socks, winter or summer, I'm going to tell you, wool's the best.